Time switch. Horstman VA MK9 SRS2. What we've got there then is a time switch and rate changer. This uh, time switch can switch a maximum of 100 amps and also carry out a rate change function for a dual type electricity meter. Such electricity meters can include Sangamo Western S309.2, the GEC C11B2, or even Sangamo Schlumberger SPA02. There are other dual, ta dual tariff electricity meters available. This instrument, it is a synchro powered time switch and it also has a spring reserve backup. The spring reserve backup lasts for 15 days during a power cut. This instrument has two togs, one on and one off, and it was currently set at midnight to turn on and seven o'clock in the morning to turn off so therefore seven hours of of peak electricity was given this time switch was manufactured by the horseman gear company limited in bath and england There is a date label inside this one, and I believe it was May 1974 this one was manufactured. I will turn that camera around a bit, but there is a uh, light coming in the window behind it, so you may get some glare on the glass. Yeah, there's a small amount of glare there, and you can't really see it, but because the off tog is in the way... But just behind that off tog, there's a little sticky label. Yeah, you can more or less make that out. Uh, it says 574 on it, just behind that off tog. So there's a little date label in there. May 1974, this was first manufactured and put into service. Still fully functional as well. This time switch has been cleaned up and restored and works as intended. These horseman weight changers, it's only the VAMK9 which does it. They are particularly noisy in operation due to the synchro motor that's in them. The rest of the horseman VMK range operate more or less silently except when carrying out their exercise routine, of which they do once a day for about 15 minutes. This instrument, it uh, was X NWeb stock, and got the date, uh, the, the number on there, HD20594. This is one of two that I own. I own two of these, and both of them are X NWeb stock. Being a synchro motor base instrument, it does need 50 hertz alternation frequency to operate. It has quite a broad operating voltage of 200 to 250 volts. It can be seen up the top of the specification plate there in green writing. Just there. Again, the camera is to the side, so you can't really make it out that it says 200 to 250 volts. There it is. Just there. Again, I'm just got the camera to the side there because there's light coming in behind a video uh, 
in front of the video subject and it is making a bit of a glare on that glass there. In the middle of the clock face there is a little square shank. Let me zoom on that. There we are, it's a little square shank in the middle of the clock face there. That is provided for winding up the spring reserve. And the mechanism in there is a slipping spring. So upon giving it a certain amount of wind, what will happen is you'll hear a slipping noise inside there. Being a sealed unit, this instrument is not accessible to the electricity user. And as such, it is a sealed unit. And it's not wound or set by the end user. That is down to the electricity board. There is a screw in the corner there. There it is. And in the opposite corner at the top left. The terminal cover is there. And those little round tubular things at the bottom there are where the cables get passed inside. In another video, I shall be powering this one up and we shall have a little listen to how noisy these time switches are. Like I say, it's only the VAMK9 which is noisy. The rest of the VMK range operate more or less silently. I'd like to say thanks for tuning in to watch this one. And yes, there will be another video on this some other time. And we shall have it powered up so you can hear how noisy in operation one of these are. Thanks for watching.